we are very overdue for an update on the LTCN, the Grayscale Litecoin Trust trade and thesis that I had put in place at the beginning of the bull run. The goal was to see if LTCN would perform as it did in the previous bull market four years ago and put small positions in LTCN, which is the Grayscale Litecoin Trust. After that is BCHG, which is the Grayscale Bitcoin Cash Trust. And I decided to select the third one, which was the Grayscale Filecoin Trust, F-I-L-G. Three of them, I put less than $1,000 in each of the positions. And I wanted to track the performance throughout the bull run to see if we repeat the gains, repeat the scale of the gains associated with this trade. Keep in mind that LTCN can be traded as a stock in OTC in markets in North America, and it's somehow linked to Litecoin, LTC, the cryptocurrency. But again, LTCN only trades Monday through Friday from 9.30 to 4 p.m. like a stock. So I'll go over the daily chart, the weekly chart, give you an update. Let's go. So, so far in August of 2024, that trade is back to square one. Pretty much LTCN is traded at 11.50 and it started at the beginning of the year, actually a little higher at 17.50. Technically, we are at a loss if we started this trade at the beginning of the year. Obviously, some people got in here in the bear market at four dollars so, or so they still have in prof profits for those who really bought at the low low but that's a small quantity of investors so what happened we went up as high as almost 55 dollars and came back down so back to zero for ltcn on the daily chart what has happened to ltc litecoin the crypto asset during the, that exact same period ltc beginning of the year was around $76 and now it's trading at $61.13. A loss also, zero gains. We technically are back to square one for LTC Litecoin also. Keep in mind that I have some Litecoin because I mine in the cold months here in Canada, Dogecoin. And at the same time, I mine Dogecoin, which is the main purpose of my mining. I also get some rewards of Litecoin out of the mining. So that's how I got a small, small, small position of LTC in my portfolio. It is insignificant, so it doesn't matter. And I've never ever bought LTC on any exchanges since I started buying Bitcoin, the first coin that I bought a few years ago. So Litecoin, the correlated asset slightly below the price of beginning of January, so we're at a loss. Same thing for LTCN, not very bullish and it's not looking great, right? Bitcoin started around $15,000. I don't remember exactly when it was at the beginning of the year, but now we're trading around $60,000. So it's not the same thing, but that was not the purpose. The purpose was not to beat Bitcoin, but what will be the performance of LTCN in comparison to the previous bull market. We will see it right now on the weekly chart. <coughs> so this is what happened in 2020, 2021. We went as high as above $510 and then the second peak around $458. So that was the high point of the previous bull run. And now our high here was $53 and we're back to 11. So are we going back to 450 and all uh, $510 at the end of this bull run, which I'm estimating will be mid-2025, so June, July 2025? Are we going back there? So far, we have not progressed since January of 2024. We have also not progressed since the Bitcoin halving. Keep in mind also that before the Bitcoin halving, we had a Litecoin halving because Litecoin also has a halving mechanism. It doesn't seem to have contributed to any type of value. So we're back to square one, actually lower than the beginning of the year. Will this trade return excessively 
high returns in 2020 in the end of 2024 and the first half of 2025 so far we have nothing to show for we will have to be patient again my positions are less than one thousand dollar each i knew that i could lost all of it the goal was just to see if we could have a great performance we still have time we have september october november and december so the last four months of 2024 and six months of 2025 to make our minds about it and to see how this trade will perform so it's pretty much 10 months left to see what would happen with ltcn for the one who are curious about litecoin it went above 280 dollars and now we're trading at 60. so that's the goal is to get back to 280 that would correlate to roughly what happens for ltcn but so far ltc has been disappointing ltcn has been disappointing we're back to square one for those who want to try this trade again you get a second opportunity right now to get at these prices a position really inside the bull run so you have to wait less technically than if you started trading this at the beginning of the year i usually invest for one to five years in my positions so i'm extremely patient with my trades and here in crypto you may have different type of strategies or narratives that you want to evaluate especially in the year and a half two years of the bull run so i place a small bet on these ones to see what would happen let's see how it goes but again disappointment so far little red we're under the january prices for ltcn and ltc will we get those exponential crazy gains we need to wait and see what will happen i will share different updates throughout the bull run especially in the end of 2024 because that's what i'm expecting the beginning of the exponential phase for bitcoin and also in the first six months of 2025 we will track the performance if we ever pump extremely well and extremely good we'll try to determine the top to maximize our gains and eventually see how high we can go with this asset continue watching videos continue bombarding me with questions comments I know that some people like these assets, others don't. I cannot please everybody, that's impossible. I'm open to criticism about the selection of the assets that I discussed here in the channel. But I base technically my beliefs on data, not hearsay usually, and mainly the charts to guide me on past performance and what I could expect in the future. It's impossible to track all the differ, different things that happen within each project. Maybe you can focus on one project and very be, be very specialized in it, but even then you don't know what the insiders are doing and these type of informations are not very easy to get your hands on. So I use the data available, be patient with my investments. Some will work, some will crash, but I'm learning every single day and having tons of fun interacting with you guys and girls. I hope many, many, many girls and ladies and women invest in crypto because you need to invest in assets to be able to grow your portfolio and avoid the huge amount of dilution in buying power that is coming once the rates are cut and that the governments around the world will start printing money again. Again, thank you and see you all on the next video.